up guys, this is our first full day here in Kyoto. Right now we took a 45 minute bus ride, which wasn't too bad, over to King Kakujin. So we're at the entrance of the Gold Temple and we're gonna be exploring this area today. We've got the Golden Temple, we've got the Bamboo Forest, we're gonna be seeing some monkeys and exploring around this area of Kyoto. Kyoto is pretty big and the transportation system relies a lot on the bus system. I would say it's less convenient than Tokyo. However, the bus system is really nice and frequent and super cheap. So you can get from point A to point B. Breakfast slash lunch at the Lawson and all of this food only costs about $13. Kinkakuji Temple conveys the dawn of Kitayama culture. Kinkakuji is a Zen temple of Shukokuji school of Rinzai Buddhist denomination. In 1397, Yoshimitsu took it over and built the Kitayama Palace, centering around the golden stupa or Kinkaku. When the palace was founded, it was the center of politics and culture and was used to welcome the emperors of Japan and trading partners from China. Super touristy area, but it's beautiful on this river. This is an awesome little street right here with shops and then there's a bunch of people who rent boats. Okay, we are in Arashiyama area in Kyoto, walking along this beautiful bridge in this river. It took about a 15 minute cab ride from Kinkakuji and now we are here about to go to the monkey park and go to the bamboo forest a bit later as well. Keep in mind things will be crowded. There will probably be lines to places as well. Just because the uh, transportation, public transportation system isn't as convenient, we took a cab but a 20 minute cab ride was still only about $25, so not too much, but pretty needed to get around the city. Don't stare at the monkeys in the eye. Don't touch the monkeys. Don't feed them outside. Don't take a picture on the way. Please take a distance more than three meters. I'm about to go see some crazy wild monkeys. They are definitely like pack creatures, so they stick together, they have their little communities and their social communities. Well, although there's a lot to do and there's these temples, some of them cost money, many of them don't cost any money, which is really nice, but even the ones that do cost money are super cheap. Like the Kinkakuji was only 400 yen, which is only like $3, and even this monkey park was only 600 yen, which is still less than $5, so everything's very, very affordable, if not free. Is it for the people or for the monkeys? It was fun. <laughs> There's a mama and its baby. We are in the Arashiyama Bamboo Grove very beautiful, tranquil forest that kind of feels like you're in another world. It's a natural forest of bamboo out here in Kyoto. Pretty busy, but it's also really peaceful amongst all the, all the crowds, which is really nice. Heard some uh, fun things about Wendy's. I'm not one to get Wendy's in the States, but I really want to try the soft serve at Wendy's in Japan. So 
Gonna get some dinner. All these different French fries, they have fried chicken, they have spaghetti. Um, look at these like French fry options though. Basil flavor, maple butter, cod roe flavor. For dessert, they've got all kinds of yummy looking things. Much more than the traditional frosty. We got basil french fries in here. We got a soft serve with matcha and azuki, a matcha float. We got like a regular cheeseburger and a mushroom melt burger. So it looks pretty good. Mostly excited for this though. Altogether, that was about 2,300 yen, which comes out to 17 US dollars. Still, pretty good deal. It's funny, it's like really good sushi is probably equivalent price to this, but it looks like pretty high quality uh, food overall for a Wendy's. If you ever come to Japan, you need a Wendy's matcha soft serve with azuki beans. It's the best thing ever. Super refreshing, amazing green tea flavor. I already miss it. Even after Wendy's, I'm still quite a bit hungry, so I got some tuna at a conveyor belt sushi restaurant. These are only 100 yen a piece, which is insane. That's less than, well, it's like 75 cents for these two. All right, after a lot of food, we made it back home. Gonna get a good night's rest for an early start tomorrow. We're gonna venture into another district of Kyoto. If you made it to the end of this video, I just wanna say thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you haven't liked or subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to do so and we'll catch you tomorrow.